guys, I created the new Among Us map, Airship, on a Rubik's Cube. Why? Well, the map is quite confusing to me, so is the Rubik's Cube. Fighting confusion with confusion. It deserves to be built on a Rubik's Cube. But the brand new Among Us map isn't so brand new anymore. We are playing the airship and this map is gigantic. I printed out this map for guidance, but it didn't really help. The map is still confusing. We'll have an amazing video today analyzing, but also building the map. Please meet my new assistant. Hi, how are you doing? I'm still looking for a name for him. All the stuff which I need on one monstrous thing. It's so convenient. The fourth map of Among Us is set in the skies. It's the biggest one yet playing on a gigantic airship and it came with some new tasks like jewel polishing, emptying trash and some further ones and also the ability to pick the room you're starting in. When you are part of the 0.001 minority on earth you can play and probably also solve this thing. You saw this guy with three ruby cubes juggling and solving them in, I think, three minutes. It's so crazy. Here in the studio, we are all amazed by the cube. And Andy, um, our editor, shout out to Andy, amazing cut, by the way. He just bought a cube, not a Rubik's cube, but one which is going even smoother and quicker. And he was like, Mah. I played some years ago, probably I lost all my abilities and then chuck, 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 he finished the Ruby cube in a minute. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> Cardboard isn't working. I try to rebuild this confusing map on the Ruby Cube. The reason why I am choosing the Ruby Cube as the surface for, for today's tutorial, for today's video, I saw another video. A guy doing a clay video, Minecraft clay video on the Rubik's Cube. Ah! It's evil stuff. Super glue. So, back to the guy. His channel's name is Wuzu. I think he's Korean. Wuzu Gonggan. Google Translate told me that. It means outer space. I'm linking the video right here. And he inspired me to try this out. To suffer even more. And to work on this Rubik's Cube. As you have seen, I eliminated the cardboard. And we are using these wooden pieces. Why? Well, well, what's the reason? Well, it's not so flexible and you can't destroy it. When rotating the Rubik's Cube, the cardboard suffers a lot. Well, wood, not so much. Right from the beginning, I knew that I wanted to extend the cube itself and create different multiple layers to it, because also with the new map, um, the mobility itself was improved with the ladders and moving platforms and I wanted to symbolize this by adding some more structures to the pure cube. But always make sure that it's still movable. From a visual perspective, the gap room is probably my favorite one. It introduced two new game mechanics on how to move with the ladders and the moving platforms, which both can only be found in the gap room together. But what fascinated me the most about the gap room is its nested look with all the pipes and platforms and moving platforms and ladders and this mechanically moving and spinning gear wheel. 
working on the platforms. When you look closely, you can find many beautiful Easter eggs on this map. For example, when you look out of the window, you can see the silhouette of Charles Calvin's helicopter from Henry Stickman passing by. <laughs> And I'm also pretty sure that the gigantic pencil is a reference to the one Henry Stickman is using, but I'm not sure. We are working on the edge of the upper platform. Players in the bottom right on the lower platform can't see the area above them. And this information is quite helpful when you catch an imposter killing a crewmate, for example, or even using a vent so this is an advantage. Could it be the magic pencil from Henry? I haven't played the game. After oven hardening, we will take care of this black top of the pencil, the graffiti part. And we are placing it on the right platform while we are working on the movable platform. It must be used to cross the large gap in the middle of the gap room. And now let's take care of some of the beautiful pipes. I'm just doodling around with different colors of clay. Some bright silver, dark silver and also this rusty pipe. Which will be hidden under one of the platforms on the left side. And also on the left side we have the ladder going up to the meeting room. With multiple tasks, we have empty garbage, enter ID code, fix wiring, and there was a fourth one. From a strategic perspective, this room is quite interesting. We only have one entrance using the ladder. There are no vents, meaning crewmates and also the imposter are all going the same way. The gigantic conference room table in the middle section with the emergency button surrounded by all the beautiful blue chairs. Two power strips can be found on the table, some cups, a beautiful red mug which goes right there and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked meeting room and also gap room. <laughs> but we will start with the meeting room. Placing all these beautiful chair in position. We start with the left side. We have a security camera, a panel for empty garbage and also these chairs in the middle section. I left out on the right section um, the two chairs because well, it's still a Rubik's Cube and <laughs> let's now assemble all the stuff for the gap room. We have a vent, a second ladder. I think it's the only room with two ladders, but I'm not really sure about this. Removing some clay part that we get some extra space for the beautiful pipes I talked about earlier. This is the lower platform. One may ask what these tubes are all for. One is probably for O2, one could be for water, one for dirty water and another one for juice. For the moving platform we have somehow a fan underneath. which we will paint onto this acrylic paper. And it is the last working step for this room, placing it onto the needle flying in the air. <gasps> Let's continue our journey. Electrical. This room contributes a lot to my feeling of confusion while playing the new airship map. Electrical is made of many small rooms connected with randomly opened doors. But it is always granted that you can get from one exit to the other. But it's so confusing. 
This top entrance with a ladder is leading to a main hall. On the left side we have security and on the right side we would have medical. Medical. Med, med bay. Where did they change the name? Peeling of paper from clay on my top three list for most satisfying <laughs> things. While I was in the crafting process, I thought I would only create electrical. And then I saw this upper room leading to main hall with a ladder. And I knew I wanted to bring in some more confusion by creating this area as well. These are all the doors which can possibly be open or closed. How many beds are there in the airship map? And we are ready to go into the oval. Freshly baked electrical. It's not much. No, it isn't. But when we start putting the blueprint parts onto the walls, it will look amazing, beautiful. Maybe we can even add some more wires. Yeah, that's a nice plan. This is the upstairs area with a ladder leading to main hall. I would not be surprised to find another dead body in here in electrical. Okay. Creating things on the Ruby cubes comes with different challenges. First would be every part has to be divided into several parts to fit onto the different cubes, the movable cubes. And second biggest challenge is after creating the first side or a second or a third, everything is fine. But after the fourth, it gets somehow tricky <laughs> to handle the cube and to roll it to the side to work <laughs> on the other side of the cube. The task which I am missing on the airship is definitely fixing wiring. We find calibrate distributor, divert power and reset breakers. And I'm reading this of a list. <laughs> I can't remember all the tasks, tasks names. Look how beautiful the wire looks right now. We either have black wires or red and blue. Ah, screwed it up. With some super glue we'll attach it, but carefully because we don't want to interrupt the movable pattern of the Rubik's Cube last wire and we can continue mm -hmm -hmm. cargo bay has definitely a place on our rubik's cube lounge hmm. both areas are attached to each other and both areas also fit onto one side of the rubik's cube i changed the scale just a little bit, made it a little bit tinier that all the beautiful toilets also fit onto the side. But we will focus on cargo bay first. This is the unlock safe task we are creating right now. Then we have also fixed wiring, fuel engines and also upload data in this room with three entrances on the very right side of the whole map and some good locations to hide. It is also one of my favorite rooms working on the fuel engines task. Boy, this is tiny. And the banana. <laughs> Have you seen? There are several bananas hidden on this map. This one, well, probably no one will notice it. A room with four toilets and no vent. Who would build that? 
Did they even think about the bad air inside there? What I really like is that you can lock yourself in the bathroom stalls. <laughs> Uh, because the doors are closing after a while. How tiny can a plunger handle be? I am creating them right now, but I'm pretty sure that I will lose half of them. Or they break off and... <laughs> I'll never find them again. Cargo Bay has a beautiful pattern on the ground. It is used to attach the different hooks from the stripes to secure the boxes. Going to the lounge, it's going upstairs and I'm using these wooden sticks to simulate a second level. While creating I even thought about adding well the pool table on the left side but somehow ended up focusing on the toilet toilets only but with tiny doors which can be opened featured by a very sharp scalpel. Did I already mention that there is no vent within this room? <laughs> I mean, four toilets and no vent. Come on. This game was invented to get vents into video games. <laughs> I'm working on the platform for the left side right now. And I'm still thinking about all these beautiful boxes with many, many hats. <laughs> What is all inside these boxes? It can't be heads only. With this yellow rope, we make sure that the boxes are not floating around and that they are not hurting anyone. <laughs> that would be so funny. An Among Us map which is killing the crewmates off. <laughs> it would be like a pro imposter map. Top hats. Beautiful. You're talking about the crewmates. I maybe I make another video creating uh, crewmates on a very very small scale. If you have a banana <laughs> or some ideas which crewmates I should create, post an image of these. Link me on Instagram, for example, at Claim. Post it on Reddit. Tell me which crewmates I should create and I'll do so. Maybe you can also bring in some background information on your characters, on your crewmates. And these are the doors. And still there is no vent inside this room. Can you believe this? Four toilets, no vent. But four plungers. There is hope. On the box right next to the fuel engines task, it says tank something box. What was it? I wanted to tell you something about this box. Some beautiful trivia. Well, I'm coloring the edge to make it a little bit darker and that clay and wood matches perfectly together. It's moving and we are moving to the next side. This was the very first location which I have seen from the new Among Us map when it was presented back in September, October. The most characteristic thing, the glass dome, will be created as well. Maybe this size. Or tiny. Or big. It has two levels, but the character isn't really using the stairs. It's just a visual trick. We should complain about the map designers. The glass dome have to be divided because, well, it's still a Rubik's Cube. The cockpit has several computers, a divert power panel and an upload data panel. 
right um, at the front. And also a table can be seen with a chair, the beautiful chair. And I make sure that no wood can be seen later, that the color matches perfectly, blends perfectly. This is the, the best word for this. <laughs> This will be part of the dividing mechanism for the glass dome, which we will glue onto this deck. Oh, the beautiful chair. The vents in cockpit are connected to vault and viewing deck. Did I already mention that lounge has four toilets, but no vent? For the chair, we are mixing a very bright blue. And just imagine sitting there and watching the imposter coming out of the vent right in front of you. It's the curved desk I will have one day instead of my tortured desk I am working on right now. We have some more consoles and instruments. This room could also be a perfect location for one of the crewmates, which I am creating in a future video. If you have any ideas, let me know. Post them on Instagram by linking me. Post them on Reddit and I will create your crewmates or imposters. And we are creating the next side of our Rubik's Cube. And we need some help from our assistant to flatten the clay. It's so convenient. Some beautiful weapons are displayed in this room <laughs> with this arrow-shaped wall in the middle and with an amazing reference to at least one amazing gang. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are hanging on the wall or at least their weapons are hanging on the wall. As you know, I created three of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here on the channel years ago. I still have to create Donatello. And while doing the dishes, we are entering the kitchen on the right side from Armory, coming from Armory with some dirty glasses which need to be cleaned. And you see all the hair. Also in the kitchen, we have a shelf with tons of bottles of ketchup. But only one bottle of mustard and one bottle of mayonnaise, which is somehow unfair when you really like mustard, like I do. In mayonnaise, we have two bins, one blue one, which is probably for paper, and a tiny bit of green for the organic stuff. Closed. The kitchen has also one vent, which can't be seen in our version. Did I already mention <laughs> that? <laughs> Just kidding. Who needs a vent when you have four toilets? We are putting all together the beautiful walls. I forget to show this from cockpit and also gluing the beautiful in instruments and then we get back to kitchen and armory as well. Ooh, we have the map on the glass dome. Carefully. <laughs> I don't want to damage it. Next time I'll probably choose a bigger Rubik's Cube because then we can bring in some more rooms. Uh, Arm armory should go on the right side of cockpit, of course, adding the vent in cockpit 
and then we can close this whole location with the other part of the glass dome. Well, the gap is huge, of course, but it should be still movable. Back to the armory. For the blueprint I'm using to put onto the Rubik's Cube, I did some editing and removed some parts, placed some tiny banana patterns on the ground, maybe even some more bananas than in the original game. Oh, so many weapons can be recognized right there. We have a sledgehammer, nunchucks, uh, a katana, a golden cannon, which is probably from Henry Stigman or James Bond Goldeneye. Rifles and these two beautiful tables, which we have to cut in half. I loved the reference to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so much. Nunchucks, Twinsay's staff and the katana. And I still have to create Donatello. Placing the shelf full of ketchup mostly ketchup, the two bins, dirty dishes, and that's it for the kitchen. Now the banana shooter, oh no, let's call it Banana Blaster 3000. <laughs> and we are almost there. I can't believe that we finished five sides of the Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. I honestly thought about just pretending and faking and creating <laughs> one side just for the thumbnail of the video <sighs> this is number th six the six 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 th it's getting late it is the engine room which we are creating and i was really looking forward to create all these beautiful engines with many tubes and pipes and also the crane in the top right corner we have of course one vent in engine room which leads to main hall and i think kitchen and this is the light for the crane <laughs> looks more like a dynamite stick with the hair inside it is one of the rooms where you can choose to start in after the emergency meeting after oven hardening we can now place and assemble this beautiful room. I'm coloring the wooden pieces to match the color of the clay. I was really lucky to find this exact clay color. This tube is somehow a problem because it goes over three different blocks on the Rubik's Cube. The treasure chest has also a place in our tiny diorama and after working for one week on this gigantic project we are coming to an end placing the crane <sighs> guys i can't believe it what an insanity in clay on a rubik's cube <laughs> guys i guess that's it the airship with the gap room Cargo bay and lounge for toilets without a vent, electrical, cockpit, armory and kitchen with a beautiful Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reference and engine room. Woo! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for the crewmates, let me know and I'll create and put them on the Rubik's Cube as well. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye.